The plane is Jane. This is one of my favorite comments here. She says, I loves me some black. And she said, loves me some <laughs> black news. She says, is it just me? Or does anyone else get tired of seeing people that don't look like them delivering info about them day in and day out? I'm your girl to plain Jane. And let's see what's happening in these virtual streets. You ready? All right now. <laughs> this will be a crazy ride. I'm warning you now. We are back. We're here to get into some additional information. You read the title, and it's just that plain and simple. The father is sitting down doing another interview, and we're going to get into that. And he is supposedly in this interview, because I haven't seen it yet. I'm watching it with y'all. It's it's happening right now. And he's sharing more information about what happened um, involving this whole situation, her trashy friends. Um, let's just get into it without further ado. how you found out about your daughter's death and uh, can you talk about the lie that they told? Well, first, you know, I was sitting at home on a Saturday, which was um, the 29th. It was like 7, 7 or 8 p.m. And the phone rung. I'm sitting there looking at the TV. So my mom said, so like I said, we're at home over there. And first we called. Uh, a guy answered the phone. He didn't speak English. So we called back again, and another young lady um, answered the phone, and her name was um, Elizabeth. And from that point on, she said, I asked her, you have St. Fuller Robinson um, over there? She said, yes, sir. Dr. Miss Robinson, I'm sorry for your loss. And um, so from that point on, she said, um, said Mr. Robinson, I'm going to stick with you until I get your daughter back to the States. So that lady was like an angel. So a lot of paperwork had to be done. Um, um, my mom sent the pa paperwork was already in the system. So she, I called her back. She said, yeah, I got the paperwork. I need a, lease, a release form so I can release the body, release her body to you. And so we did that. And uh, the bill came up and everything. So I wired the money over there, you know. Uh, after I wired the money, they got the body. So did the paperwork and I take a while for that paperwork to get done because they transfer everything over into English. Yeah. So she got back here Thursday, last Thursday, around about five o'clock. So I'm sitting there in the funeral home. As soon as that door opened and that box came in there with her in it, man, you know, mm. just cried like a baby. Yeah. Didn't even want to leave out the funeral home. My mm. brother had to pull me out of there. You know, I'm sitting here, you know, Looking at her, seeing you know a knot on her head, her eyes swole, she got a lip, cut lip, and you know just you know that's a no, I know I wasn't gonna do all that, you know. So I said something not adding up right here, and so y'all gonna come back here to the states, and um, bring her luggage back, sit right there in her mom's, in her sister, face, eight. Told y'all story, how it happened, alcohol poisoning and all that. And then, you know, two or three days later, when that report came back, the lady told me, no, Mr. Brown, you and your daughter didn't die of no alcohol poison. She died, it was um trauma, trauma to her neck and her spinal cord. It was broke. So that's when I just I just had it. I said, No, no, I said, baby girl. Your daddy is not going to let you die in vain. I will get justice for you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I will get justice for you. So, you know, going forward, I didn't let up. I didn't let up. I did yeah. not let up. Not one but. And I know the grace of God has got everybody out here who caring and loving and everything and giving me the strength that I need to stand on this. Because I've been crying. I've been having my moments. You know, I really can't sleep because that was my heart. You know, it's a big hole 
you know, y'all didn't came back here. Y'all got kids. I think some of you all got little kids from what I heard. I don't be on Facebook or social media or Twitter, all that. I don't, I don't that, that's, that, that's not my style. Yeah. So I'm more of a person. I'm just laid back in the back scene. But all at the same time, her father has been here all along, all 25 years she's been on this earth. Yeah. It's been her dad and all her friends who know me would tell yeah. you her dad. Yeah. Yeah, her dad. Man. I know for a fact. I know she probably called out for her dad, and yeah. for her to go out of here and suffer like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, for her to suffer the way y'all did, you know, to beat on her because she's not a fighter. It's not right. a fighter at all. Right. Yeah. And it's a shame, you know, for y'all men to be sitting in the room. The video I saw. Yeah. For y'all men to be sitting in that room and y'all let this go on and do nothing. And Khalid, you're supposed to be her best friend for five years. Five years. Friend. No, I want to. Y'all supposed to be friends. Yeah. Friends just don't do that. Yeah. Not at all. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I understand your parents. You know, your parents ain't even reached out to me, or I don't know if you reached out to her mom or not, but your parents ain't reached out to me. You all ain't reached out to me. So, you know, I say something ain't even adding up right here, but I just ask God to give me the strength and bring me justice. Show me what really happened over there, Lord. That's all I ask. You know, yeah. I'm not perfect, but I know, I know definitely where my help comes from. Yes. I know no. definitely where my help comes from. Yeah. And God yeah. has been moving. He's been moving. Yeah. And, been moving. Uh, and Gerald, the, the way God moved in you, when you say you called that Monday morning, I know I had pray, say pray, I always pray. And it's just how, how everything just, just going, it's just, everything just coming. The cover yeah. has just been pulled off, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, I'm still hurting. I mean, like I said, I'm sitting here hurting talking about this as I'm hurting right now, knowing mm. in two days, you know, I got to bury her. Yeah. Yeah. And y'all then came back here, then shut down your Facebook pages. You know, you know, you're not talking no more like you was before you left. Mm -hmm. So what, what, you know, why, why you hiding? You know, just tell the truth. Just tell the truth. Just tell the truth. Mr. Mr. Robert, I want to. You got a father um, here that won't even be, you know. You got a father here yeah. now, you know, won't even be a granddaddy. I can't even right. walk her down the, um, oh. can't walk her down the aisle. Yeah. Can he hear a voice? Can yeah. he say, "Daddy"? You know. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You know, she gone. Yeah. She gone. Yeah. And y'all yeah. took that from me. Y'all yeah. took that from me. And Khalid, I know she told you about her dad. I know she did. You got a dad. You know, y'all got dads and mothers and a mother that I know of. You know. Yeah. They can look at you all. Y'all can have a conversation. I can't have no conversation no more. Mm. It's gone. Yeah. It's, it's so good. I had to come on here and, you know, speak my heart and speak my mind. You know, I'm not a dead beat dad. Yeah. It's about who knew me. All of my daughter friends know what type of dad I was. Yeah, and that's what I want you to do. And I know, I I know, me and you talked, and we talked about having an interview. And um, I know you, we we talked about. You said, "Jerome, I'm gonna give you one first because you, you know, you you've been working on it." And I, I just want to thank you because the people need to hear from you. The, the these these I'm gonna call them murderers. I don't care what nobody else call them. Mr. Robinson, I'm calling them what they are, my opinion, because I feel like that you y'all knew what was going on and you still didn't say nothing. Now, the problem I have is, is that Khalil came back, brought luck, brought your daughter's luggage to your to 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 the house, had dinner and sat in y'all family's face and told y'all that. Shaquella died from alcohol poisoning. And then when I called you about the video, you didn't you didn't even know anything about the video until I called you and, and told you about the video and I sent it to you. And and you know, now that the video is out, it definitely confirms what you have what you were saying all along about, you know, this the alcohol poisoning doesn't put a knot on your head. It doesn't swell your eyes. It doesn't bust your lip. It, it don't do any of that. And I know that 
that's one of the parts that you can't even fathom of how this man can come to your family's face and tell y'all a lie like that. Now, um, I, I spoke with Miss uh, Salamandra. I spoke with Miss Robinson, and she had told me that uh, Khalil had been coming back over to the house. Been coming back over to the house. He was coming around every day. Um, did he ever call you? Did he ever reach out to you personally and tell you, you know, what happened or any of that? No, nah, Khalil never called whatsoever. You know, when his mom was telling me, you know, he'll come over to the house. I guess he was coming over to see what kind of information they knew. But once I found the information out, that's how they found the information was through me that she had a broken neck and a broken spinal cord trauma. Right. That's right. how they got the information was through me. And then once they came, when I called and sent what happened, what happened, then he was over there. Then all of a sudden, from what they told me, he got all sick and wasn't feeling good. Mm. Say his aunt was with him or his mama was with him. And he wanted to leave. Mm -hmm. And when he left, they ain't heard no more from him, you know? So, um, and then when I saw the video for y'all to beat her, knowing she's not a fighter, for y'all to, I don't know if y'all woke up out of her sleep to beat her naked like that. Well, why she was naked? For you men, you know, to sit in that room and watch her, that girl hit on her like that while she was naked. You know, I mean, it's, it's, the it's men in the that. room, well, I mean, do y'all have sisters? Mm. You know, do y'all have a mother? What if someone show y'all the video like that? A man, uh, someone beating on your mother or beating on your sister neck. How would you feel? And she's not even defending herself because she she's not a fighter. Mm -hmm. You're already bigger than her. She ain't number, you know, fatigue don't weigh no more than about 120, 125 pounds. Mm -hmm. That's not her style. Mm -hmm. Her style is not a fighter. Mm -hmm. Her style is not a fighter. Mm -hmm. She wasn't raised like that. Yeah. Yeah. She wasn't raised yeah. that like that. She was raised that, you know. To have fun and treat people like she want to be treated, laugh, yeah. you know, care for others, you know. And y'all yeah. want to do take her over there out of her comfort zone and do her that way when she thinking she going over there to have fun. And y'all seen that to me? It was a setup, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's what it's in as well. To that's the grace what it's God. Yeah, I'm going. I'm, I'm going to get justice. She's yeah, going to die. She, it would not die in vain. No, I'm gonna get justice. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get justice. Yes, sir. Yes, we are gonna get justice. You are gonna get justice. Shaquella's gonna get justice. Your entire family is going to get justice. Now, um, Mr. Bernard, Friday they are over in Mexico. Saturday, as you know, as you talked about earlier, Khalil calls and he says that Shaquella is not feeling good. She's been throwing up and she's resting. And then he calls back because Salomon told me that, you know, she told him, you know, well, just, you know, keep an eye on her, you know, just keep me up there and what's going on. And then he calls back and says that they are trying to resuscitate her. And you're trying to understand well what's going on, and then he comes up with this with this this alcohol poisoning bullshit, you know. Now, um, has has ha, and I understand that the FBI is now investigating. You have been in contact. Your entire family has been in contact with the FBI. But are you have you learned anything as far as the the Mexican police uh, seeing any type of bruises on her? When they got there, you know, did, 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 did the medics observe anything, you know, uh, different, you know, about her when they got there for them to, you know, allow these people to leave a room, you know, after saying that she had alcohol poisoning and then tending to her body and it's obvious signs that, you know, she was beat. Have you learned anything? I mean, has, has any information been communicated to you that the Mexican authorities or the doctor or the medics over there saw any of those signs on her? You no, know, as right now, I'm just waiting on for all that information to come back to me. 
Yeah, you waited for all that information. When all that back. information come back to me, right? From right. what I saw, her when I saw her in that cat, when I saw her laying there when they rolled her in the funeral home. I mean, you see, you, we we saw the bruises. Right, right. We saw right. the bruises. Right, right. You right. know, yeah. I don't know. Um, she was in her, you know, she was in her pajamas. Um, a flammable pajamas, with pants and a, and a shirt. So I don't know if they put that on her or who put that on her, you know. But I don't just see how can y'all sleep. I don't see how all of y'all can sleep. I don't see how can all of y'all go about and do y'all daily duties and sit there knowing what y'all did. Yeah. Knowing yeah. what y'all did. Right. You now... Know, I understand, Mr. Bernard, that you're waiting for more information as it relates to that. Now, the death certificate stated, now the video, the video shows that she was, there was a fight in the bedroom. It's early morning outside. If you look in the, look at the, you know, outside in the video. Right. But the death certificate stated that um, she was found in the living room. Right. Uh, but that's what the I video shows that a fight was inside the bedroom, and we don't. I do know, and I communicated with you from a source that there is a second video because obviously, you know, um, Shaquella is on is is on the ground with her head down. So I mean, you know, she, you could tell that she's still alive. But then other information that we learned today about Winter Donovan grabbing her around her neck and and slamming her and her not getting back up. There is a second video that is there that is out there. I um, mean, this information came directly from someone who is friends with Dejanae's mother, and this information was communicated because people were upset about the fact that only one angle is being showed, and that is Dejanae assaulting your daughter. This was not a fight. This was a brutal assault. Mm -hmm. Because your daughter was not fighting back. And in that video, at the end, Khalil had told um, Chaquela's sister and Miss Salamandra that he was not there when all of this happened. After the fact that they learned from talks from those that was there that there was a fight, that he was not in the room. But the video clearly shows him to the left. I mean... Could you, you've never seen Khalil, have you, Mr. Bernard? No, never seen Khalil. Right. The only thing I saw is pictures of yeah, all of them. Yeah, right, right, so right. I saw pictures of all of them. Yeah. You know, I heard the same thing you heard. There's a video out there. Yeah. That, um, you know, she picked up by the neck and slammed on the ground. And once they slammed her, she didn't get back up. She did not get back up. Mm. So I guess that, that slam back there must have broke her dick in a final cord. Do you need a second, Mr. Bernard? I can turn this off for a minute. Nah, man, go ahead. We can go through this. We can go through this. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're going to go through this. We're going to go through this. Yes, sir. I, I know this, this is, I'm sorry, this, y'all, this is very, very, very difficult. Um, I, I, I really don't know how much I love my daughter. Y'all don't really know. No, y'all don't know what y'all have done to me. Y'all don't really don't know how, you know, the hole that y'all didn't put in me. I really don't know. Serious, you know. Hmm. And y'all can just come back here and deal with y'all did and leave her there. Leave her there and then. Just leave her there. And then the maid had to find her from what I'm hearing, you know. You know, y'all don't understand how much of pain my daughter was in sitting there with a broke neck or a spinal cord, you know. And then I'm hearing, I don't know, Naji or whatever. He came to the house, you know. So he was the last one. Uh, something about he was the last one. He was the last one, he was the last one about her breathing or something, you know. He playing soft music and rubbing her head. Really? All of y'all could have got her help. Exactly. All y'all, but y'all chose not to. Exactly. Who the who the freak 
comes from an airport. Claim they came from the airport oh, straight into there and just rub her head playing soft music and claiming he's doing CPR. And then, you know, to get online and try to run to the world that you are so innocent. The only innocent person and the only victim in this case is, is Mr. Bernard's daughter. And that's Shanquella Robinson. Ain't nobody else a damn victim. And I wish people would stop getting online talking about this Nazir dude got deadly. And then this is the problem that I have. And I and from my understanding, Mr. Bernard, I, I did you watch any of his video? Good question. Who on uh, was video? Nazir's. Did you watch any of Nazir's video? Yeah, I watched a little bit how he's saying this and that saying that. Really? Really? And the problem, and really? the problem that I have is I don't You give came there and you saw her, you should have got help. If you he was her friend, you I'm ain't seen her in nine kidding. years, and you came in that house, ain't no way you're gonna sit here and you know, what, what, you know you saw the bruises. You saw the bruises. You came in the house. You want to sit there and say you played music and rub her head and you know she took a last breath, you left? You saw the music. I mean, come on, man, really? You should have came in that house. Hey, y'all y'all ain't going nowhere. Y'all stand down here. Y'all stand down here. Y'all not going back. Y'all not back going to the United States. Exactly. He should have turned. came in here and saw these bruises. Y'all didn't hurt this girl. No. You know. Exactly. Exactly. That is the problem. Y'all ever, think, y'all ever thought that she got a mother and a father? Got people back here in the states that love her and care about her, especially her daddy. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. And then y'all yeah. can't even call. You come to the house, over to a sister house, and and ain't try to say, um, Miss Robinson, can um, do you have um, Mr. Robinson phone number? Can we call him and give him my condolences? No. Not at all. Y'all didn't even open your mouth. I ain't doing that at all. Especially you, Khalid. Even your parents, y'all parents ain't reached out. Dirty. Dirty. Your parents ain't even reached out. You know, none, you know, me or her mom. Not, not that I know her, but I know your parents ain't reached out to me. You know, they still got, got y'all. They still got y'all. I don't have mine. She gone. Y'all took that, y'all took away from me. She can't talk for herself. She can't talk for herself, but her daddy is gonna talk. Her daddy gonna stand strong to the grace of God. Yes, sir. God gonna give me the strength that I need. Yes, and I know everybody out there who got a relationship with God gonna pray that I get the strength yes. to stand where I need to stand. Yes, sir. Because my daughter will not die in vain. Yes, sir. She will not die in vain. Yes, sir. I'm gonna give her justice. Mm. She's gonna get justice. She did not have to go through this. She did not have to go through this. She did not have to go through this. Shanquilla did not deserve this. She did not deserve this. I can't wrap my head around the fact that they left Mexico, came back to the United States, and told this family that Shanquilla died from alcohol poisoning when in the damn phones that y'all was carrying had the video that we just saw. Y'all knew a fight happened. Y'all knew and you know who killed Shanquilla. And, and you told her mama. Mm. Y'all sit right there and told her mama that it wasn't no altercation. That it was no y'all told her mama and her sister right there in their face there was no altercation in that house. That's exactly what y'all said. That's exactly what y'all said. Now, in a couple of days, I will have all y'all statements. Show is All y'all statements, what y'all said. The FBI is on them left and right. So if you think you're hiding at your mama house, Dejane, if you think you're hiding, Caleb, you think you're hiding, Winnie, if you think you're hiding, Nazi, if you think you're hiding, Elise, 
the FBI is on you. And you're going to have to get into the interrogation room and you're going to have to tell what happened. And the fact that y'all still... Let me go ahead and say this really quickly. There is a GoFundMe set up. I'm hoping that the father mentions it just to put people at ease. I know there's so many fake GoFundMes and stuff out. Make sure you hit thumbs up on this video as well, by the way. I'm going to update the description box and I'm going to put the GoFundMe that the family, that the parents specifically set up. You know, the funeral is in two days. It's on Saturday. I just wanted to make that clear. Let's continue. Hit thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more updates. this day I ain't even tried to call this family and say Miss Robinson, Mr. Robinson I lied, I was scared I ain't know what to do we should have broke it up I ain't know what to do and for every parent that's sitting up here and you know your child done killed somebody you should be ashamed of yourself that you were hot on the inside and you ain't at all worthy to take a dog to the dog pound, let alone call yourselves some type of human with a heart. <clears throat> Y'all ain't shit. I'm sorry, Mr. Bernard, but you know how we talk on the phone. So you know you are, you know, you you yes. know me. But oh, yeah, say what you mean. Man, Mr. Mr. Bernard, I, am, I am so angry. I'm I'm so angry. I'm so upset. I'm so outraged at the fact that these. These, 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 these Judases left your daughter for dead. And then you got Nazir coming on. Let me ask you this. The part that you did here, Mr. Uh, Bernard, did you even believe any of what he said, what he was saying? Not at all. Not, Not at, at all. all. If you were there, you should have did more than what you did. Should have did more than what you did. Because trust and believe me, every last one of y'all, y'all would have stayed there at that hospital down there with my daughter. I would have made sure y'all got back here. You wouldn't have been staying in no Mexico. Hello? You would have got back here. You would not have stayed down there. Hello? Would that would have meant a whole him. lot to me, knowing that you stayed down there with my daughter till I got there or we got there. We all would have been getting back, back on that plane together. But y'all didn't do that. Y'all left her. Y'all left her there. Y'all left her there. So dirty and so low down that this father and his brother had to get online and find funeral homes and find out how to get in contact. Y'all left them searching. Y'all left them searching how to find their daughter. This man don't know anything about Mexico. Just imagine being a mother and a father and your child is over in another country and dead and you got to get on Google. What if it wasn't for Google? Y'all dirty. You left this man searching for his baby's body. You left this man trying to find out where his daughter was because he couldn't get in contact with her because she was dead because y'all beat her. Because y'all beat her. How was he supposed to find out? His only connection to her. He ain't have it no more. And y'all, Lord have mercy, Jesus. Uh, um, I wired that money. I wired that money over there. It wasn't 6000 How much was it then? I wired that money. It was almost 7000 Oh. I wired that money. And not one of them tried to ask, did they need help? I wired that money. Didn't ask, do you need money? Didn't ask nothing. Didn't ask nothing. You know, nothing. I don't want no GoFundMe page. None of that. I wired that money. No. Nothing. Mr. Bernard. Mr. No, friend is paid for. Yes, it is paid for. No, her friend is paid for. For me to bear her in the next two days. Let me and let me while we're talking about her funeral, let me say this. Um Shaquella's funeral is this Saturday. Okay, it is this Saturday, November the 19th. 
The wait will be 11 to 12, and the funeral is from 12 to 1 at Macedonia Baptist Church, 1300 Hatteras Avenue, Charlotte. Let me say that again. Her funeral is this Saturday, November 19th. Charlotte, show up. Show up. Stand with this family. Show up. Show up. It's Saturday, November 19th from 11 to 12 is the, is the viewing. And the funeral is from 12 to 1, Macedonia Baptist Church, 1300 Hatteras Avenue in Charlotte. Mr. Bernard... Um, Khalil brought the girl that was in the video assaulting your daughter and another girl to the house. And Quilla, Shaquilla's sister, has stated that she, that now let me ask you this right to this. Had you before the autopsy came back? Had you heard that there was a fight or that an altercation was going on over there before you found out everything now that you know now? Yes, yeah, you know, her friend, so my daughter friend did call me who, who had my number, who know how much I care about my daughter. Right. They did call and say um, it was a fight in the house, but they weren't sure. You know, but then the alcohol story came out. Right. So, right. When the alcohol story came out, okay, my mind got to wonder who who is true, who true on what, what. So right, right. So once that, I just asked God. I said, God, you know, I pray that you give me justice. I asked God, you know, I pray. I said, God, just let me know what really happened over there. Mm -hmm. Pull the covers mm -hmm. and show me, cause she gone now, Lord. Mm -hmm. She gone. But so show that, me what happened, mm -hmm. where I can stand for justice for her, Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and that's when you came in, and that's for some kind of reason you came in the picture. Mm -hmm. You came in the picture. I kept praying, kept praying. And mm -hmm. God began to move and start moving in his time and start unraveling stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is where we at now. Yeah, 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 Mister Mister Bernard. So you heard about you had heard about the fight. You heard there was a fight. So Khalil had brought Dejane, the girl in the video that we see attacking your daughter, and he brought another girl, Winter Donovan, um, over to the house, and that's when they were asked about the altercation, but they denied the altercation, even though. One of them, who we now know, Dejanae Jackson, was in a video assaulting her, assaulting your daughter, Shanquilla, had the nerve to lie to y'all again in your face, saying that it was alcohol poisoning. So did they really say that that was alcohol poisoning? And she that was from what, her mom, that what her mom said, that what the, that what the words came out their mouth. They were playing a game, drinking. That was the statement they made to her mom and her sister or everybody who were around over, over her sister's house because they were asking questions. Right. You know, so that's what they told. And so I guess, you know, that was her mom, sister, everybody went with until I got the information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because that alcohol poison did not sound right for me. No, right. not at all. Right. Mm -mm. right. No, she don't drink like that. I know that for a fact. Right. Right. So now once the once the once the autopsy came back, okay, and it came back that your daughter was beaten, right? Khalil was nowhere to be found. He didn't come back around. He didn't pick up his phone. Um, I mean, is, 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 is that what happened that he just disappeared once the truth came out in the autopsy? He went off the radar from what I he went off the radar from what I was told. All of it went off the radar, I All guess. Once he got out there on social media or Twitter or Facebook, you know, 
how they communicate. Like I say, I don't be out there like, like that. Right. That's not my, you know, that's not me. I'm old right. school. Right. So, um, all her friends, you know, my daughter friends start commenting about it on, you know, on their pages, what I'm hearing. And all of a sudden, you know, all of them start shutting down their pages. Mm -hmm. Their Facebook pages or Twitter accounts or, you know, whatever they was on. So, right. But, they start um, shutting them down. Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. Nowhere, to, be found, nowhere yeah. to ask no questions. No, no, no nothing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And no it's, so, it's so, it's so funny because when I told, when I called you and I told you a little bit about what I do, who I was, and I told you, I said, I'm going to put their pictures out today. And um, I got all of their pictures that morning, all of their pictures. The North Carolina Beat found every single one of those individuals who was in that room with Shanquella picture. Her picture wasn't going to be the only one going around. I mean, people knew Khalil, but the other people, they didn't know. So it was easy to find Khalil. But to think that y'all name was just going to be out there without people seeing who you are. And immediately when, when the North Carolina got, got involved, that's what I told you we was going to do. And we did it and we'll do it again for any other family that's looking for justice. Now, um, now, Mr. Bernard, have you tried to reach out to Khalil? Just, I mean, like, has anything in you? Because I really know, you know, I'm not going to say that, but has anything you say, I, look, I want, let me try to call him. I need to talk to this man. I need to see why this man, my, my, my daughter's guy best friend, would do this. Like, did you try to call him yourself or get a to get an answer to him yourself, although he didn't reach out to you or call you? Well, you know, well, uh, actually, mom and sister, you know, um, they call, have they called and say he didn't answer his phone. So it wasn't even me called. So right. Right. Going forward is in God's hands. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna let God deal with it. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna let Absolutely. God deal with it and he dealing with it. So Absolutely. Absolutely. She will get her justice. My yeah. daughter will get her justice. She yeah. will not die in vain. No. Each and every one of you all, whatever the law says. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm going with. Or you gonna add a little more extra. You know, right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Whatever I'm you all say, mm -hmm. because um, all y'all was there. All y'all was accessory to the whatever y'all did to her. And y'all know what's wrong. Y'all know it was wrong to the utmost. Y'all know it was wrong. Y'all know. I don't know how y'all can sit here and think she got a mother and a father that love her conditionally. Y'all ain't bring her in this world. Who give y'all authority to take her life? Hmm. Who give y'all authority to take her life? You know, hmm. my world has shut down because I don't have her. Yeah. Yeah. My world has shut down because I don't have her. Hmm. So now, I just hmm. got to bring her justice. Yeah. And we're going to get it. Mark, because you stole I, something from me. Yeah. Tremendously. Yeah. You don't know me. I don't know you all. Mm -hmm. But y'all just stole something from me. Tremendously. Yeah. yeah. You know, y'all did not have to touch her. She ain't did nothing to y'all. Mm -hmm. If she said in the words, y'all can let words, words is words. That's it. Yeah. That's not y'all child for y'all to be attacking her, beating on her like that, body slamming her breaking her neck and her spinal cord. Really? Really? And I know some of you ladies from what I heard that y'all got little kids. You know? Yeah. How would y'all feel if y'all child got taken from you all? Yeah. You can't see him no more. Yeah. Mm. You know, you can't, you, you can't hear their voice. Yeah. You know? I, so whatever the consequences is that the law deal you all. Yes. Yes. Let me let me know. yes. I wanna I wanna uh I wanna ask you one 
last question. You you know, I, I have really a lot of questions, but I'm not going to ask them. I'm not going to ask them because you are a grieving father. And, you know, all journalists would have questions about this whole case. Now, let me, I want to ask you a question. I want to back up a little bit. I want to ask you a question and I'm going to, we're going to get off of here. Um, Mr. Bernard, did, have you been told who found Shanquella? I mean, were they still in the room? Like, or did they, did they leave her? Because, you know, of course there was a rumor going around that a maid had found her, what have you. Has you, have you been told uh, how she was found? Were they in the room? Did they leave after the medics got there? And I mean, and they came back later. Have you been told of how she was discovered? So when I was told the maid said they found her sitting up in the chair or either sitting up in the bed. Sitting up in the bed or sitting in the chair with a broke neck and a smile. Dead? What? She this died at 3 p.m. Now, did you say you arrived at that house on that video you said at 3.30 something? So if you arrived there, sir, if you arrived there, it should have been 12.30 or 12.45. You got there at that house. So evidently, she had to be alive when you were there. So in that scenario, you saw the condition that she was in and you saw the bruises that she was, you know, on her. You should have you should have called the medics or somebody should have called all of y'all. Y'all could have carried her. She ain't about 120 pounds, 125 pounds. But y'all chose not to. Mm-hmm. Y'all chose to got that thing, got out of there and got her um her suitcase. And for what our statement says, one of y'all called a taxi cab and it went to an airport hotel. Now, I don't know how true all it is, but that's what I'm hearing. And one of you called back to the States and asked somebody what to do. Mm. It's true. One of you all called back. Y'all panicked. And one of y'all asked what to do. Mm. Wow. You know, so I can say. you left her and the maid found her. Because I was trying to figure out how did she get from the bedroom to the living room where she was found. Y'all drug her from the bedroom to the living room. I mean, well, I mean, I'm just trying to understand. And this Nazir guy, he told me on the phone call, Mr. Mr. Bernard, that me and him had before he went live the other night. And I played it on here. He said that he got to said he got there at 216. Then he came back on the live and said he got there at 3 p.m. something. And then he said he was by 426. He was by the pool saying, Quella, get up. So when you got there and you started CPR and the death certificate and the autopsy say she died 15 minutes after her injury, which was at 3 p.m. So that means you did CPR on her and left her where she was. And then you went by the pool and said, hey, Koala, get up, knowing she was dead. I mean, but the thing about it is he's a compulsive liar, Mr. Bernard, and he can't be trusted. And I dissected the dissected the video and I proved that Nazir Wiggins is a liar and he is as much responsible and guilty as the rest of them. And they need to be held accountable. Now, I mean, if you say he did CPR. Um, then they say it was a medic uh, in the house. So that medic don't know how to do CPR. That's, a, that's you know. It. Hello. Yeah. So, Mr. Bernard, one last question. The FBI is now involved. They have revoked their uh, passport so they can't flee. Um, Where's the confirmation on that? What is the FBI telling you? I know you don't have to go much into detail, but is there anything that you can share with us uh, that they are that they are telling you other you know other than that they are investigating investigating it? Have they told you? Have they spoken to anyone? Um, I do know that they have communicated with us that if there's anyone that they are investigating it, and that if there is anyone who has information, whether it be photos 
whether it be text message between any of them or anyone admitting anything or saying anything, photos, and you have information, please contact the FBI. Doesn't matter what state you're in, whether you're in Connecticut or you're in Charlotte, contact the FBI and they will route your tip to the pro appropriate people. Um, is there anything that you can tell us um, about the, the FBI on investigating this uh, that you may be able to share? No, I don't know nothing. I'm, I'm just waiting on them. Yes, I'm in sir. the blind, just like everybody else in the blind. I just know God is moving. Mm -hmm. You know, he's moving at his own time. And I walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. As I say that, come on now. <laughs> as I say that, what I say, justice will be done for her. Yes, Absolutely. justice will be done. Absolutely. And I will know our Lord that we serve will come through for me. Yes, He will. The whole world, the whole nation, all y'all prayers, which I don't know none about none of you all out here, but um. Uh, you know, I know y'all prayers and y'all, you know. Oh, I cry. I know y'all prayers is one got me standing. Yes. Standing strong yes. as I'm standing. I Thank can't you. eat sleep. Can't eat how to eat. You know. Mr. Bernard. Big hurt feeling. Yeah. It's a really big hurt feeling. Yes, it is. Mr. Bernard, thank you so much. Thank you so much for telling the world how beautiful your daughter was, for being bold and being courageous and being strong. The world see your strength through all of this. And my condolences again go out to you and your family. And the entire world is praying for you and your family. And I know that on Saturday that you all are going to send your daughter to heaven in a mighty way. And my prayer to you all is that I know that you won't ever go with this, but you'll get through it. And I pray that when the days come and the grief come, that it will come in increments and that it won't overpower you, but that, you know, you will begin to, you know, release it, you know, and, and, and heal. And that's what I'm sending your way to you and your family healing power, healing energy. And again, you know, Mr. Bernard, thank you so much. You have my information. The North Carolina Beat is standing beside you. You know, any information we get, you know, you and your family will be the first to know. And I just want to thank you all so much for giving us that permission to show the world what happened to your daughter, because these people are going around lying and saying this and saying that. But thank you guys for, for, for allowing us to, to share that uh, with the world so they can see how dirty friends, so-called friends, can be. And it's not Quella's fault. Let's get that straight. No, not at all. We not can't. at all. She thinking she's going over there to have fun, enjoy herself. Yeah. yeah. Not knowing she wasn't going to even come back. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So let's 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 I get know that come back to her dad. Let's get that straight. And thank you so much, Mr. Bernard. I'll call you once I get off. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you. Me and your Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, y'all. So just by the way, Mr. Um, Bernard, we talked about that. He wanted to do this interview for those who say, you know, why you got him up there. That he, he, we, we, we had a conversation. I really wish. Um, I really wish he would have specifically asked the father about the GoFundMe to confirm it. So let me just be clear with this GoFundMe and, and what's going on with the GoFundMe, just to give you all some context, right? This this blog has been on it since day one. And I'm, I'm talking arguing with the five friends because they lying and trying to cover their ass and all this other stuff. He's been on it since day one, and he has been in constant communication with both of the parents. So this page, this blog is called the NC Beat, okay? And he actually, speaking with the family, they set up the GoFundMe, okay? So there is a GoFundMe in the description box. Be sure to check it out. I believe it's the second link. The first link in the video, in the description box is a video if you haven't already seen it. Most of us have seen it already. 
um, of, of the, the brutal attack. It's only like 20 seconds long, but you definitely will need a trigger warning before you get there. And the, um, the GoFundMe is something that the NCB is like, look, I've been talking to the parents. This is their official GoFundMe. I believe there's already $3,000 that have been donated. If you can donate one, two, three, four, five, twenty dollars $20, whatever it is that you have, um, feel free. Cause you, you just heard the father say it cost them nearly $7,000. Okay, seven thousand dollars in order to get their daughter back to the states. So that's that, right? Um, there was something else. Oh, there are people saying that there's a second video. If you have the second video, please send it to me. My email is on the screen. I will share it on Twitter ASAP. Those of you all who follow me on Twitter, you know that's where I I, I be all the time. So I'm looking forward to sharing the second video if there is a, another video released, okay? So the GoFundMe, email me if you have the video. I know somebody had asked for my email in the description box. Um, that's that. Let's go ahead and hear the rest of what he got to say if he's going to say anything different. Um, let's see. Nazir Wiggins. Ah, you know what? Someone sent the super chat. Let me get to that really quickly. I got a $5 super chat a second ago. And I think, oh, damn, there's so many comments and it's moving so fast. 34, here it is. Thank you so much, Ronnie, for the super chat. It says, why is no one talking about the fact that this was a transgender um, who beat her to death? Um, and then it says transgender male. Well, let, let's clear that up a little bit. I did clear this up in yesterday's full breakdown. If you're looking for more context to understand exactly what happened here, please check out the video that I did yesterday. It's literally breaking everything down. Um, there is no evidence that this person was actually transgender. Okay. It was a Photoshopped image. If this person is really, this is, this is something that really spread like wildfire. If this person was really transgender, we wouldn't need to Photoshop an image in order to prove it. So they took an image of this individual. Do she got a strong chin? Yeah. Yeah. She do got a strong chin. But why would we need to Photoshop an image in order to prove that? You get what I'm saying? Like, does that make sense to y'all? So that, that isn't really, um, accurate information and i can pull up the pictures real quick real quick just to show it and then we're going to get back to seeing if there's any other additional information since um the nc beat has been in constant communication um this is the image that's going around social media right it's a photoshop image you can clearly see the trees are fine on the right the trees are blurred in the back and and she's same face same pose same clothes same everything she, her body hasn't moved an inch or this person's body hasn't moved an inch and this is something that um, we went over in yesterday's video. You can see a lot of different publications started running with this. So I want to stick to facts. We don't have any proof that this is a transgender, um, trans woman, okay? But the you, blogs in different places started running with that and it spread like wildfire, okay? I don't know who photoshopped her picture. Don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people was eating her up, right? Calling her a linebacker, wide back gorilla, da 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 we're angry, right? So we packing her up. We're making fun of her in any old type of way. And I think it went from people saying, well, she looked like a man anyway. Because I mean, truthfully, you zoom into her chin, you know, it, it's a strong chin. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> uh, it's a strong chin, but we don't have any proof of that. So I don't, I'm not spreading that information. I don't find it to be true. And again, why would we need to Photoshop an image in order to prove something like that, right? Like that just doesn't make sense. So I just wanted to clear that up. Thank you for the super chat. And thank you for actually bringing that up so that we could touch on it again. Now let's get back into the rest of this video to see if there is anything um, being said here that is of substance or something that we don't already know. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of this. Dejanae Jackson, Elise Hyatt. Winter Donovan, Malik Dyer, Khalil Cook. You might as well go ahead and turn yourself in. Because the statement that you gave, the lie that you... Damn. Okay. 
Why did it like that? It just sounded like he was really just about to be sitting up there preaching for a minute. I ain't going, I ain't going to hold you. Um, it sounded like he was going to sit up here and he was going to preach. Um, he had a preacher type of uh, a preacher type of voice. And this is a really good point. Where's T.I. and Boosie? They speak out against all the toxic males when they're making excuses and coddling them. Where's Boosie to speak up about the protection of black women? Where they at? 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 It's not making sense. Thank you so much, Kim Cruz, for the 199 super chat and super sticker. Okay. People saying she does look like a man. Look, look, look. Like I said, she got a strong chin. <laughs> she got a strong chin. <laughs> but um <laughs> but I I don't have any 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 proof of that. And and like I've said, why why would we need to Photoshop an image in order to prove that? Can somebody prove something else? Can somebody can somebody answer it? Somebody said, can they get their five dollars back? Baby, not the person. <laughs> So, Ronnie, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. You sent the $5 super chat and said, why isn't anybody talking about the fact that this is a trans person? And I bring it up on the screen and I say, thank you. <laughs> and you say, man, can I get my $5 back? Because I don't agree with you because there's not any proof. Do you have proof that this person is trans? Or are you just running with the 300 tweets and 45 Instagram posts that claim that? You mean to tell me that when you send a super chat, you want to steer the conversation in a way that the person has to agree with what you're asking. Because you ask, why isn't anybody talking about it? I'm talking about it. And I don't see substantial evidence as it pertains to that claim. Where's the evidence? Do You got a, a name change document or anything that's really proven that? <laughs> you want your $5 back because I didn't agree with you. Baby, take your $5 back and get that shit to... Um, Shanquella's family. How about that? I, I don't need your five dollars. Take that shit back and donate it to the goddamn GoFundMe. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Let's go to the goddamn bush, baby. Lord, that five dollars broke the bank, didn't it? It was gone. Let me just go in the bush and weep. Let me just go in the bush and weep. I just have to go in the bush and weep. Really. I, I don't understand. I swear to God, I don't understand. about maybe if you're struggling just say you're struggling <laughs> just, just say you're struggling it's okay it's okay <laughs> baby something is really wrong with some of y'all y'all be i mean i just where's joe button why take your ass on to a conversation that's catering to your narrative since apparently that's the only thing that you are capable of digesting Look, nonetheless, um, like I said, the GoFundMe is down below, okay? Down below in the description box. It is the second link down there, okay? So um, I'm not sure if one of my mods blocked that person or they just shut the hell up. It looked like somebody blocked them, child. I don't know. <laughs> um, so that's that. Um, the GoFundMe, apparently the FBI is involved. I do have a statement that I can read for you all really quickly in regards to what, um, what the FBI said. It's not being investigated as murder. It's being investigated, according to the FBI, as femicide instead. That is a distinction that I did want to make. I do see some information going, going on. Um, and it's being investigated as a femicide instead. You know, when the FBI is investigating things, they don't um, they don't really share a lot of information about where they are with their process. I guess they don't want anybody to reverse engineer it and ruin it, whatever the case is. So I, I guess I understand. I get it. Um, let's get into this article really quickly. Do me a favor as we are going over some of these updates. Make sure you hit thumbs up if you haven't already. Okay, hit thumbs up on the video. We're following this case. We're following this case closely. We have about 3,000 people in here. I'm grateful for y'all and I'm proud of all of us for ringing the alarm and making the noise that needs to be made as it pertains. Had we not made this noise, mainstream media wouldn't have picked it up and the FBI maybe would have never touched it. So black Twitter, black people, black media, black everyday folk, right, who are having constant conversations about this, black YouTube, kudos to us. Let's keep it up.
Hey, thanks for letting me keep you connected and in the know with what's happening in the black world. Don't forget to smash on that like button for support and for more black news. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on this FBI um, situation and what is going on here. Okay, now why is this thing so small? Why would they have this website set up like this? Lord have mercy. That's very wretched. What is going on? Lord, we're going to have to read it short like this. So um, there are more questions and answers. The agency presiding over the case in Mexico confirmed to ABC News that they've begun a femicide investigation into Shanquella's death. The state attorney general's office of Baja California, sir, the state Cabo is in, tells Channel 9 it maintains the lines of investigations to collect more evidence and achieve the accurate clarification of events without ruling out any hypothesis. It says on Wednesday, they obtained the death certificate, list the death as severe spinal cord injury and luxation. Says she died within 15 minutes of the injury. Alcohol poisoning, which her family said that her friends blamed on the death is never mentioned in the death certificate. Okay. So in the box, um, asking whether the death is accidental or violent, the metal examiner wrote yes. So we don't know if it was accidental and violent, if they're deeming that it was just violent, if they're deeming that it was accidental. We're not quite sure what that yes refers to, which is low-key infuriating, high-key, actually. Um, on Thursday, the Attorney General's office sent ABC News a statement adding they've also started an investigation into her uh, unaliving, Okay. Um, let me see statements that I've kind of already read. Let's get into exactly what is being said here. Um, at this time, none of her friends, she went on the trip with are facing charges. Her mom says she's been in contact with the FBI and a spokesperson for the FBI confirmed to Bruno, the agency's Charlotte division has been in contact with the family. Now, what is a femicide investigation? The Attorney General's office in Mexico sent ABC News a statement Thursday, adding they've also launched what's known as a femicide investigation. Um, an expert on femicide in the region of Mexico stated, he says its outcome will dictate the early stages of the investigation. He says it's supposed to be investigated in a very particular way that's sensitive to the gender dynamics of the crime. He says when a woman is killed in Mexico, authorities are often required to open the investigation as a femicide. From there, they look into whether she was killed for reasons due to her gender or if there were specific circumstances such as domestic violence. OK, essentially, gender causes for violence have to be ruled out before it's classified as a homicide. He says attention on this case could help it be resolved. That it's an African that that is that it is in American means there will be additional pressure on the Mexican government and the state government to resolve this case. And I think that that will likely lead to a resolution, the expert says. Um, and so that's pretty much the update as it pertains to the FBI's involvement with um, with this case as it stands. So we're hoping, OK, we're hoping that justice will come through. Um, uh, a lot of people disagree and feel like, will the U.S. work with Mexico? Um, are they going to cooperate with one another? And look, we just hope, we just hope that it is, okay? We just hope that it is, okay? So let's just keep our fingers crossed. Let's just stay updated as it pertains to this situation. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. This is where we stand. We're hoping for the best. We're definitely keeping the family in prayers. Um, and hopefully one of these people turns themselves in and tries to cut a deal. I ain't gonna hold you. Hopefully somebody turns themselves in and starts singing like a canary and tries to, to, to get a deal to expose everybody else, right? So th that's all we can really hope for as it pertains to this. Um, someone says the Mexican government basically has to determine whether a crime was committed, then proceed with charging them. Um, good point. There are a lot of different opinions. Any and all thoughts, I'm anxious to know how you feel about it down below, whether you are on the bus right now or 
whether you're chasing the bus, which means you are watching the replay. Any and all thoughts, please let me know how you are feeling about it. What are your thoughts? What are your theories? Do you think that the guy was innocent? We played his 14 minute live yesterday and I just, I just, how did the video come out? I think that the video came out because they were broadcasting it to different people. That's what I think. I mean, the one woman who was holding her phone up that we caught in the video, I had that screen grab yesterday and yesterday's very extensive breakdown. She was on FaceTime with someone. So it definitely seems as though they were trying to get it out to other people as well. So, you know, it, 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 it is what it is. That's where we are with it. Okay. That's where we are with it. So yeah, it did take YouTubers to bring this to light. It absolutely did. It did. Well, I don't want to hold y'all too long. I'm going to go back to enjoying my evening. We might do something members only or on the backup channel later on this evening. It's about nine o'clock over here in Baltimore. I hope that you find something to cheer you up online. Um, find one of my more funny or lighthearted videos that I've done in the past. Watch those. This is very heavy on a lot of people's hearts. I saw Shanquella's name trending on Twitter. Her first name alone, not the hashtag, her actual first name spelled correctly was trending on Twitter. So it's amazing that the conversation hasn't stopped. Don't forget to stop by the GoFundMe if you can. When I peeped it, there was about $3,000 in there. Okay. I know when I went over the young man's video, um, Nazir Wiggins, um, there was some inconsistencies there. There was some inconsistencies there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play that, um, play the inconsistency lined up next to the news clip. And then we're gonna go ahead and go. My taxi driver, it took us an hour to get to the villa because it was traffic. I don't know why. So I got to the villa around 326. I instantly, as soon as I go in, I go to Quilla. Quilla didn't leave my site, my side, none of that, till um, the nurse came. But that's, I'm going, that's, I got too far ahead. So Quilla was laying on the couch in the game room. The fucking villa was like a big ass mansion, no upstairs, all tile on the wall, tile on the floor, straight tile, nothing, nothing else. So it just, a big ass villa. I don't know if y'all can view it on the website. Go to Cabo Villas and look at how big this shit is and what it looked like. But well, you're gonna see. So when I got there, she was in the game room. Um, they told me um, she was not feeling good. So I instantly go to her, um, put on her side, get a bag and all that. So I'm sitting right next to her the whole time. I was cross my heart and hope to die. Um, I was there the whole time in the game room and then they was talking about cooking. So we made it to the living room. Um, I cut on some soft music, sitting with her, rubbing her head, just chilling, waiting until the nurse came. Cause that's what I was informed that was happening. Um, at first I was told that it was a male coming and then a female showed up. So um, by that time, well, well, I skipped another thing. Quilla wasn't found dead. She wasn't found dead. The maids found her slumped over the toilet in her room. In a section where police could have noted any sign of intoxication, it says person found unconscious on her living room. That's what they did find her slumped over her toilet and her room. That's what I was told. Quilla was not dead when I got there. Um, you hear that? The death certificate. I even pulled that up yesterday, I believe. It literally said, and we could just see in the news clip that it said that the maids found her. In the living room. Y'all see where it says living room right here? But he's claiming that the maids found her in the bathroom. Which one is it? Make it make sense. Time. Well, uh oh, I skipped another thing. Quilla wasn't found dead. She wasn't found dead. The maids found her slumped over the toilet in her room. In a section where police could have noted any sign of intoxication, it says person found unconscious on her living room. That's what they did find her slumped over her toilet and her room. That's what I was told. Quilla was not dead when I got there. Um, um, yeah, boom. So it's like, okay, so when I get in there, I go in, I see Quilla, I see she chilling, I put her on her side. I go out and make that video where I'm talking about I'm here, that I Quilla get up. So I'm thinking like, damn, we got stuff to do, ATVs, a boat. Dinner. I miss the chefs. I miss everything. Anyways, fuck that. Um, so I'm like, damn, I'm thinking, Quilla, let's get up. I say that in the video. Everybody can hear it. Everybody knows. 
room. Roll us on your wrist plain giant. So that's what he had to say. That was one of the few inconsistencies that I pointed out that I was able to line up so you could hear it back to back and hear how his story just kind of doesn't make any sense, especially because he's acting like he spent time with her where she was sick. But it says that within the moment that she got the injury, she passed 15 minutes after she sustained the cracked spine, right? So if she passed within 15 minutes of, of such a, an intense injury, how were you able to spend this time with her and lay on her side and play music and play Summer Walker and say, get up, let's go? You had to have known what happened before and or after you got there. I don't think that the brutal attack that we saw on video was the only attack that she went through. You know what I mean? I feel like she was attacked afterwards. People are saying that there is a, a second video. So, um, and, and, you know, in, in general, uh, it, it, it's not making sense. His story's not adding up. He found her in the game room, but if her spine was cracked and all this other, it's not making sense. His body language doesn't make me feel great. Um, him having that Bible there as a prop definitely isn't making me feel great. Um, and, and just overall, it's just, it's just not. It's just not it. Um, but, you know, and he's more concerned about the festivities that he missed rather than his friend that he should be missing. Um, and so we went over the alleged rape allegations from yesterday um, in yesterday's thorough breakdown as well. So make sure you check that video out if you haven't already. Okay. Um, that's that. I honestly don't have anything else to say. I don't want to sit here and ramble y'all heads off all evening long, but I do hope that you have an amazing evening. I hope that your dinner's good if you ain't ate already. And I hope that you've already found a way to start manifesting a positive day for tomorrow because tomorrow is Friday, the end of the week. This week definitely went by quick, at least for me over here in Baltimore. Don't forget to like the video on your way out, okay? As you get off my bus, don't make me fight you. Like the video. Make sure you subscribe as well. We will be following this story closely and giving you as many updates as possible as soon as we get them okay this is the home of the best black news celebrity entertainment and a splash of controversy with none other than your girl the plainest jane hey thanks for letting me keep you connected and in the know with what's happening in the black world don't forget to smash on that like button for support and for more black news i'm gonna catch you all in the next one deuces but that's it. If you want to catch more of my commentary on black culture or vital and trending information, be sure to subscribe by hitting that little circle in the middle of the screen, or I'll catch you in one of these rectangles to the right in another video. I'll see you there.